insurance covers this. So hey everyone, I want to introduce you guys to Dustin. Get it? Dusty. <laughs> and she's my new robot vacuum. And I must say, she really sucks. For a robot vacuum, sucking is a good thing. And um, she isn't a rumba. This isn't a rumba. I'm not going to tell you the brand. She's actually a very cheap brand of vacuum. But I see her bumping around all the time hitting stuff. Um, she has these little bumpers in front of here that tells her when she hits something and obviously she changes direction but I thought it'd be really cool that she reacts to just how human beings react when they hit stuff. Ah! Ah! So I thought it'd be a good idea to have her make a sound maybe like a cuss word or something every time she bumps into something. So I thought that would be really cool so I did it. And in this video, I'll show you how. Like all of my projects, I start them off in my electronics closet where I'm trying to decide what I'm going to need. By the way, you can check out how I did this automatic closet light in one of my previous videos. Now, the main component of this project would be this DF Player Mini, which can play MP3s from a memory card. This device is standalone, meaning it does not need an Arduino or anything to make it work. But I think I want to control it via microcontroller for added effects. So I'm going to pick up an Arduino Uno, a Nano, and a DigiSpark ATiny85 while I'm experimenting to see what works best. Watch till the end for the final parts list, and the links will be in the description. According to the DF player datasheet, we're going to need a speaker that is under 3 watts, unless I want to use an amplifier. This is an 8 ohm 0.5 watt speaker. I'll use this for now. Lastly, we would need a breadboard and some jumper wires to start testing. So first, I wanted to test the player in standalone mode. I'm using the Arduino Uno only for 5 volt power here and I connected it on the speaker like in this diagram. I then formatted a 4GB micro SD card I had to FAT32 and loaded it with some meme sound effects. I use these sometimes in my videos. Using a jumper wire, I connected one end to ground and I can touch any one of the IO pins to play the next or previous track. I find the audio quality is decent and very audible. It isn't something that you would add to your entertainment system, but it works perfectly for this project. The next step was to try and get this to work with the Arduino Uno and control it over UART. To do this, I'm using the DF Robot DF Player Mini library for Arduino. A link to this would be in the description. From here, I loaded the getting started example to the Uno. If you don't know anything about Arduino, you can check out my Arduino playlist to get started. The code uses software serial and plays the next song every 3 seconds. Note, you should also adjust the volume here if you find the volume is too soft. I'm using this circuit diagram for the test. Notice you're going to need a 1 kilo ohm resistor on the transmit line. This was really cool and I'm happy how well it is working. So it's time to see what's going on inside of Dustin. Prepare an OR for surgery. So this is Dustin. Now, what I'm about to do will void any warranty she has. So if anyone does this, they do it at their own risk. Just clean up a little bit here. I first took out her bin and all the screws at the bottom. I also had to take out the battery which had a hidden screw underneath it. 
So 14.8 volts, which is about a 4S battery, 2,600 milliamp hours. Pretty damn cool. The front bumper also needed to be taken out, so be careful of any wires and connectors. Then it was easy to lift off the top, disconnecting the motor and the touch button. And there we are inside of the vacuum. This revealed the madness that is inside of a robot vacuum. I mean, it was a lot. And I'm pretty sure she's simpler than other robot vacuums on the market. Okay, so we have like an EFD 866 module. We have our motors that also have um, limit switches on them. We have a ring of the front. Ring of infrared sensors all the way around. This wire right here, which happened to be linked to these bumper buttons. Right. And just to confirm to be pressed, you can see the buzzer beeps and the other side. If it was to be pressed, the buzzer will beep. I'm guessing both will be connected to ground, but I cannot confirm. Yes. So what will happen is when this is pressed, when you want to press, it will send a signal signal to pull down to ground. Now I notice they have two connectors, so I may need to add an next GPIO just to um, get that same trigger in. So I can pull power from either this um, ESP8266 because it has a 5 volt line run or I can pull power from the battery but I think I'm going to just tap it off of this from this ESP8266. I think that's the, the easiest thing to do here. After looking inside of Dustin, I found the Arduino Uno and Nano to be a bit big for inside of the vacuum, not to mention an overkill. I turned to the DigiSpark ATiny85 which has 5 GPIOs and is very small. This device is a bit tricky to use as you need to update your drivers and add DigiSpark to your Arduino board library. But once done, you can do a lot with this little device. I would link a guide to this in the description as well as the drivers. My real reason for using a microcontroller in this project is to allow multiple trigger mechanisms and also give us randomized playback so it doesn't become repetitive and predictable. So I wrote a code that uses the Arduino random function to randomly pick a track when the robot bounces into something and triggers the switch. The vacuum has 3.3 volt pull-up resistors on the signal line and this goes to ground when the bumper is pressed. So all we need to do is check for when the GPIO pin goes low. I designed this test circuit to simulate what is going on inside of the vacuum and uploaded the code. Hey, what happened? I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, look at this dude. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. By pressing the button, the code randomly picks a track to be played. It worked pretty well, so it was now time to put it inside of the vacuum. I used a small piece of PCB proto board to solder everything together following this diagram. I spliced the wire on the vacuum and solid wires for power as well. I powered up the vacuum for a quick test. So if it bumps into something, nope. it bumps into something. <coughs> hmm? mm. Everything works. I originally tried to use the vacuum's internal speaker for this project and ended up damaging Dustin's audio circuit. So I recommend adding a speaker. I found a great place at the back of the vacuum for the speaker which after a bit of grinding with a Jamel fit nicely and snug next to the vacuum's exhaust. Using my Jamel and a series of bits, 
I carved a hole at the side of the vacuum. This wasn't pretty, but it will allow me to access the SD card and change the audio tracks easily after I put her back together. I use a glue gun and standoffs to secure the circuit board in a level position. After stitching Dustin back up, it was time for the final test. I made a list of things I wanted her to see and used a text-to-speech tool that also allows me to download it as an mp3. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Since Dustin identifies as a female, I made sure that the voices also suited her personality. I think a future update would be a celebrity voice pack, so let me know in the comments who you would like to hear. I updated the SD card and we were done. And I must say, I wasn't disappointed. So um, I'm going to just test the new Dustin voices. So I'm going to just pour it up. You should hear first audio. Someone called the boy. Alright, and then it's going to run all randomly. Meh. Oh crap. I hope my insurance covers this. Shoot. <laughs> Piece of shit. Kiss my ass. So I put a GoPro on here and... I'm gonna just put it on the ground and let it do its thing and see see how that goes. So everyone, if there's anything extra you would like Dustin to say, let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably try to do a follow-up video with all those updated phrases and words when she hits something. Um, Dustin, is there anything else you would like to say? Subscribe to Just Bear. Bye. Hope everyone liked this video. Consider subscribing. Subscribe to Just Bear. Bye. Um... <laughs> That being said, just do it yourself, just be yourself, that's all anybody could ask of you, and see you in the next video. Shit.